Hi, this is J3, and I have worked in the last month with the Raspberry Pi, and here is the all the episode from there to now, and I will make a episode a a record for historic purpose. I will begin with a raspberry from the end of this episode one, how to set up a headless raspberry pie. And what I have in my raspberry pie is a image from raspberry. Let me show you. Go to raspberry, <coughs> downloads, and the image that I have now in my Raspberry, in my SD card, 64 gigabyte, is this one, Raspberry Buster Light, okay? <clears throat> the minimal image based on Debian Buster. Right, let's return to the <coughs> Jungle Tron, sorry, Jungle Tronics page, and let's make the, this episode right here this is raspberry pi first boot but before we make the first boot we have to enter the raspberry pi via ssh okay let's see let's call put put it there you have it <clears throat> And we have to know what is the IP address of my Raspberry Pi. For this, I use I use a scanner, advanced IP scanner. Yes, this one. Let's run it and see what port, what IP the router give me a map for my Raspberry Pi. Okay, let's wait. Okay, this is the Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, and Wi-Fi interface, and this is the Ethernet interface. One I two one six A zero Chinese one. Okay, let's let's note this this two. Let's reduce the one I two. 16a.0.21 is the Ethernet and see what we get now. Okay, let's see. Okay, network error, connection refuse. The first thing that you will encounter in your career about Raspberry Pi is this message. I will tell you what happened here. Okay, let's return to the first lesson right here and I'll show you what is the details that you have to the, the step number five let me see okay yes important no open in Windows Explorer the image so we have to use the image file and you just load it to SD card, okay? And add SSH file to SD card root. This is this will enable SSH and see how I will make it. Okay. I will shut down, I will disconnect the port for my my raspberry I will get the SD card from the raspberry Pi and I will put it in the reader okay reader SD card Let's see. right here okay And let's and let's 
Okay, the sound. Okay, the sound. And let's read the the disc. Okay, there you have it. You have the disc D, the boot of my Raspberry Pi. And what you have to do here is just it. Right click this and make new and make a document text and type it SSH. You have to make the show the extension. Okay, here is the extension. Okay, you have to show it and you have to remove the extension and hit enter yes okay there you have it now let's close it and put it in the raspberry pi and see if it will work okay in my raspberry pi i am connected via ethernet cable RJ45, sorry, okay, now, okay, let's run the, let's put power to the Raspberry Pi and see what happens. The tell is that my, in my Raspberry Pi, I have RJ cable connected and a dongle, dongle Wi-Fi 2 connected, 3, okay, let's let's run it and wait for the light let me show you here is my raspberry pi yes here is my raspberry pi and i'm waiting for this light i have a as a dongle wi-fi here but i am connected with RJ45 cable okay let's wait for this light and then let's see what happened here is that the Raspberry Pi has no SSH server able so when we put this ssh file to the image it will i hope so enable the ssh service okay let's try it again let's try with the let's try and see again with put Let's see. Let's run the putty again. Put it again. Let's see if it works. Okay, put it. Okay. Okay, let's type it. 192. 168. 0. 21. Okay, let's hit enter. And there you have it. This message show you that everything is fine. This is the Putty security alert that one new interface are discovered is discovered right now. Okay, let's write. It. Let's say yes and type pi. Okay, raspberry. And there you have it. I will show you something. Go to change setting, appearance, change. Go to consolas font. This is much much better. And type 18 and hit apply. And there you have it. We are on our Raspberry Pi running and good now. Let's continue let's clear it up it's, let me show you one important thing in my website is that one in the 
let's go to this episode and go to the last line of the episode let me show you this line you can let me show you right here okay where is it where is it i where is it sorry upload okay oh there you have it this is download guide you can download it from my web page my my google driver let me show you you go to that link and you will pay link you will print this guide that will help you a lot I promise okay let's upload this guy from for now so that you can see right click it download let's wait for the download of the zip it's a txt and a PDF okay one file downloaded okay downloads okay and there you have it let me open it up okay extract everything extract and there you have it you have a pdf right here all the lessons in the guide to for you to make the experiment okay this is a handy summary for the episode let's make this everything okay let's begin with this code to do up risk to do raspy config let's copy and paste it to raspberry there you have it hit enter fine let's see what they make to do go to menu update and update this tool to the last version okay okay you go to this and uh, you you will update this version of the raspy config okay the next if next step is menu 7 advanced expand file system okay this is very important okay let's go to the 7 expand and hit enter and wait or for the expand of there there you have it <clears throat> root partition has been resized the file system will be enlarged upon the next reboot okay now type okay fine let's see other change your password i will not make it but you can do it if you want boot option to desktop cls console okay let's make it number three option okay number three bit option desktop cla console tab hit okay and wait for and there you have it it's location option time zone there is okay and change your layout okay i will not make it but everything looks fine for me okay the the other thing we have some some uh, linux command here is your linux command here is let's finish it okay return no do not reboot now okay let's clear this zone and this is to to access the root okay to exit type exit there you have it okay the next one will be exit catchy cpu 
info. Okay, I will show information about my Raspberry Pi 1. Okay, model B re revision 2. Fine. The other is, let me see. Okay, where, where I am, where I am. Okay, here is IP. Let me show my IP address. And here you have it. Uh, it's my IP 192.168.21. It's Ethernet port. Ethernet. Okay, let's clear. The next one will be sudo raspi config. We are already already do that. Present work directory. I mean home pi. Fine. The next one will be present one, present one. Okay, so do reboot to reboot. DF to show memory, memory usage. I am, I have a 68 byte, a 66, 58 gigabyte, 3% use, fine, clear. The next free memory. Okay, this is the free memory that I have right now. Clear it up. What else? What else I have here? Date. I will show the date. The date today. Today is Friday 24, 26, 20, 20, 20. Year 20, 20. And then. Uh, should do shutdown now okay this is for shutdown purpose okay everything is all right but if you want to keep your system update please type should do up to get you show you should do up to get okay and they will update the system and then uh, full upgrade Let's wait for the building the dependence three and there you have it. Let's clear it up. The other thing is to upgrade, upgrade this one, full upgrade, and there you have it. Okay, this episode are all right. Okay, let's close it up. Let's return to the page. Okay, sorry, the page is that one. Sorry, let's return to the jungle tronics. Okay, we make the first boot. We already made the headless for first boot. Let's let's make this one the Raspberry Pi passwordless SSH. I will demonstrate how to access your Pi via SSH using private key pair. Cryptography. This is a, an awesome episode, and I will show you what I make. Go to the end of the the this episode, and I have a summary for your convenience. Right here, there you have it. Let's open it up and let's download it from my Google. Google, this is the guide, and let me show here. Let's let's open this in the. Let's download. Where is download? Okay, I will download only this file. Document. Hit save. And I'll click open. And there you have an episode 3 passwordless SSH. Okay, this is a, a great lesson. And you have to be, you must be logged into Raspberry. We already did it. I'm sh using Putty. Yes, I'm using this OS, Raspberry, I showed you in the beginning of this video. 
this must work in any pie, but I want uh, by, but I tested on my pipe one, okay. And here is the link for my tutorial, this page right here, okay. And let's go to the step one. Step zero, enable SSH. We already did it, but you can do it if you do not make it. Go to now that we have the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry, sorry, sudo Raspi. I have to correct it. Raspi config and hit enter. And you go to and you see interface option. P2, okay, interface option, right here, P2, SSH, enable, disable, remote command, SSH access, and yet he, would you like to, the SSH server to be enabled, yes, and it is already enabled, okay, let's wait for this, And there you have it, SSH servers is enabled. Hit enter. And let's see the next, if we have, okay, nothing to do more here, tab, finish. And now clear the console. Let's go to step one, set a fixed IP address to your Raspberry Pi. Okay, what happens is that when the router choose a IP address for the device, it will distribute a IP. But if I want to access my Pi via, via private key, I have to make the IP fix it. So let's make it run the advanced scanner and know the 80 and double LAN zero interface. Okay, I already did, did it. Let's see. And there you have it. The this is my my interface. This is my Wi-Fi interface and this is my Ethernet interface. Okay. Right now, we are accessing Raspberry Pi via Ethernet, via this interface. But we will use this one, okay? The Wi-Fi interface, okay? We know the, the number already. B, to do shut down and unplug power Wi-Fi, okay? I will not make this because I already have plug my Wi-Fi dongle to my Raspberry Pi. Okay, if you do not make it already, please shut down your Raspberry Pi and plug it up, plug, plug it up to, again, whether the two cable maintain the Ethernet cable connected, okay, RJ45 cable, okay. Let's restart Putty and log into your Pi. We already did this. Here is here is the the Pi in the in the in that. Okay. Now to do Raspberry config localization option I4. Okay, let's make it. Okay, to do Raspi config hit enter and go to number localization option okay and change wi-fi country okay change wi-fi country okay let's make it hit enter oh sorry tab select and change to your wi-fi i will be are where is Brazil? There we have it. Okay, tab again. Okay, Wi Fi country set to BR. Okay, let's see if we have something here. No, let's finish the Raspberry config 
and clear the console and let's go to the F step. To do with P, let's scan for Wi-Fi Wi -Fi SSH. Let's see if we encounter our Wi-Fi. Let's see the what we capture right here okay let me see okay the cell one is not that this cell two is not that it's my printer this cell three where is the cell three there you have it the cell three is my eagle eagle let me show you cell three the channel and what you have to see here is that if your Wi-Fi is double PA2 version 1 version 1 okay okay let me see the console and then uh, ego is my SSID clear it up okay let's return sorry not here but here okay let's make it okay I, I scan all right now G double okay let's run it right here okay double PA and let's make let's put the number of your six one eight one one eight five zero hit enter and there you have it everything looks fine now okay i will copy this snippet code okay here is my i will delete this okay you go and everything looks fine okay there you have it now the, the other step is to make let me see okay let's modify the supplicant file okay right here let's hit enter there you have it Brazil is right here okay let's co copy this paste it right here and now you have to let me see control x y and enter control x yes hit enter and there you have it. everything is, is fine clear it up okay the next step is y letter my letter let's run this to reconfigure the Wi-Fi and by now let me let me film the Raspberry alright uh, let's okay okay and film but we must be concentrated in this toggle okay let's write here everything fine and there you have it. the wi-fi is now running fine okay running gear okay everything's fine Let's continue. Wi-Fi is now up and running. Letter G. Okay, J. Shut down and unplug Wi-Fi power. Okay, let's make it now. Should do. Okay, let's shut down the Raspberry. And there you have it. Wait. 
all the light goes off. Okay, let me show you. And there you have it. All the light in this one too. And there you have it. Okay. Let's disconnect the power. Raspberry. Okay, now I disconnect the power, the raspberry. Now let's unplug the RJ45 cable, okay? Let's unplug it. And there you have it. Just unplug it. And let's put the power again on the raspberry. Okay, sorry. All right, and wait for the light goes on. And this one must Has to be patient about this, and there you have it. Everything must run running fine. Okay, everything. Let's wait for this light. Okay, this light will not light up, and everything's fine. Okay, this light is stable. Okay, fine. Now let's click OK and let's dismiss this PuTTY, okay? Let's open another PuTTY. Now we will enter Wi-Fi via 192.168.0.20 now, 20, the Wi-Fi interface, okay? And there you have it. A new interface are connected. Let's click OK and let's grasp it. Very and hit enter and wait for the best. And there you have it. Let me change the settings, appearance, change, console, font, and Hit OK, OK, and hit Apply, and there you have it. We are now connected to Raspberry Pi via Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, OK? Clear the... OK, everything is fine right here. Log into Pi, and there you have it. Now let's confirm the S SSE serving, okay, let's run this. SSH is serving, but Wi-Fi, let's see what is the port of Wi-Fi. Okay, Ra, sorry, we have to correct this. Okay, and hit enter, and there you have it. We are on this interface, Wi-Fi. Here is double, Lan zero fine clear up and fine. Let's go to the step three. Give Pi a static IP. Okay, now let's edit this file DHCP and hit enter. There you have it. Go to the end of this file. Okay, now copy and paste this code right here. I don't know if it, it will 
it will function but I will put it to my okay let's delete this lines okay sorry about that but there you have it what do we make here it's to make the ethernet wi-fi to 21 and LAN to 20 and will be forever for Raspberry Pi okay in this server okay let's go control C and right click and there you have it now pay attention to that okay now have to let me see okay okay I mean to do control X yes hit enter and there you have it we are with a fixed Wi-Fi now let's up shut down close the Pi and and everything must work let's make another command let's reboot the Pi okay oh sorry clear up sorry let's sudo reboot pi the pi will make a, a reboot let's wait for the let me show you there you have it and let's wait for the pi to reboot itself everything is working fine the Wi-Fi dongle is flashing now I think everything is okay let's return to the console okay hit enter okay now go to right here and restart section and let's see Raspi Raspy, berry, and hit enter, and everything is fine. Okay, everything is fine. Clear it up. Go to the. Let's make another. Okay, everything's fine to here. Create a new user. Okay. We have now a Pi fixed IP. Now we will create a new user. Okay, to do add new user, and I uh, let's copy it to this, and I will make what user we want to, to create. I will create J3 user, and there you have it, J3 user. I will put a password here. another password here and hit enter 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 and hit yes and there you have it let's make another should do this do we have to edit this file the sudo files okay let's open it up with sudo command and there you have go to the end of this file and copy this little snippet code right here right there now control o enter and control x control o enter and control x okay Control O, enter, and 
control x control x and there you have it okay sorry everything's fine to hear to do shut down again to close put it and let's reboot the pie again to make everything working okay. boot. enter sorry for this but we have to make everything hit okay and wait for the reboot okay Fine, the double are already flashing. Let's wait one more second. And I think everything's fine, okay? Let's return to the console. Let's see, okay, let's restart section. Spy, Raspy. Very. Let's see. If we're all right. Clear up. Everything's fine. Okay. Everything's fine. Where we are to do? Okay. Okay. Shut down. Login. Login to the putty. Okay. I already. I'll make. And let's see if login to. J for you. Okay, I am with. I will show you a secret. Sue dash and J three and password. Let's type the password that you will have. Okay, now I am logged with J three. Okay, now let's make let's test if we can. Sudo visudo if everything sudo visudo if everything fine and there you have it control z okay everything is fine the j3 is already with uh, all the sudo permission okay fine okay now download putty gin application i will show you the put it put the generation application let's run it and there you have it okay now we will make a a pub public private key okay i will generate one okay let's begin it Okay, go to, let me see. Okay, check. Uh, okay, let's run. Okay, right here. Generate public, maintain, maintain the setting of the generation and maintain the setting and hover your mouse over the blank space. And there you have it. Let's hit this and hover the mouse over here and there you have it i will put uh, the raspy key okay uh, is the name that i will put now raspy key for my private key let's save this private key the public key and they will save to my user ssh director okay let's save it raspy key this is a public public okay save and save the private key yes the private key is raspy key and private 
Okay, let's save it. And let's maintain this one because we will need to copy and paste this to the Raspberry. This is the public key, okay? Public key pasting to open SSH authorized keys file, okay? Authorized keys file. Here is where it will connect it to your Raspberry, okay? Let's continue the next step. Okay, generate, save the public, and maintain the pipe. Pretty open. Okay, our women. Step seven, copy the private, public, and private key. Sorry, the public key to pi. Give the permission. Okay, let's run this command. Check. Let's open the, sorry, this one. Let's check if we have already. Okay, we Oh, we do do not have the SSH. Let's make it make make mk directory victuch slash point SSH. Make a director call SSH. Here is the directory. Okay, in my home. I'm not in my home. Okay. okay. Let's now let's see the, the next okay make let's change the, the let's give the permission to this directory only for the owner right here okay this will enter fine let's make the authorized key file inside this directory okay this is authorized key 2 and hit enter and now hit i and now go to the put generation and copy this file control c and now with the right mouse right click and there you have it Confirm SSH space SSH space AA and there you have it. And the key number is right here. Okay, everything's fine. Let's see what we have to do now. Okay, type Xscape two point double qui and press enter. Okay, escape. Okay. Let's go to this point, two point, double key, and hit enter. And there you have it. Everything is fine. The authorized key are saved inside there. Okay. Now let's put the let's give the command for this file. Okay. Here it is and hit enter. And okay, now let's let's make sudo shut down when now and hit enter, and your Raspberry will be shut down. You have to open another section of J, J3, okay? We have to configure the pretty, okay, type okay. Let's disconnect the booty. Okay, everything is disconnect. Let's connect it again and wait for the power to go to the Raspberry, at least this, the dongle Wi-Fi. Think must work. Let's see. 
all right everything's working fine the wi-fi is flashing right let's wait one more time everything's fine okay let's return to the the console let's close this right now okay let's open pre again i will show what you have to do now okay this is pretty now let's continue this step a login to pi okay is pretty if you're pretty and go to your let me see okay okay one i two one six eight point zero point twenty this is the interface wi-fi interface okay now go to ssh authorized key and look for your raspberry this one raspberry key private public key private key okay he okay fine now let me see go to the see so connection data and make it j3 the name of your username okay my name is my is username j3 go to here hit save and now you can copy this i will delete this delete this copy this interface here and save this again and okay now let's hope for the best everything is fine let's see if we can open the ssh okay raspberry key and there you have it let me show you change settings okay appearance change consolas font right 18 18 and apply and there you have it using j3 username j3 authenticating with public key raspberry key linux the okay we are already connected to raspberry pi via cryptography private and public key fine fine just fine okay everything is fine let's go to another episode let's close this up and return to the web web page this one was already okay the next step is to work with pile mode then mosquito raspberry part dot one uh, raspberry pi okay i think for this video is all thank you very much for joining me here at j3 channel i really appreciate every frame view subscribe especially to you i hope you have a great day take care and bye